With more than 24 million AR-15s in civilian hands across the U.S., have you ever wondered how a simple steel rod becomes the heart of one of America's most debated rifles? Today, this factory is pulling back the curtain on the process that gives the AR-15 its industry standard accuracy, precision measured down to fractions of a millimeter. Stick around to see how advanced machines like gun drills and hammer forging shape the intricate rifling inside each barrel. If you're into this kind of behind-the-scenes content, give the video a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments. Where in the world are you watching from? Inside the factory, the story of the AR-15 barrel starts with a deliberate choice. Chrome moly steel or stainless steel, each picked for a reason. Chrome moly is prized for its ability to handle extreme heat from rapid-fire shooting, while stainless steel offers corrosion resistance. Both types undergo strict testing for strength and uniformity, since any flaw in the metal could spell disaster once the barrel faces the pressures of firing. Batches of steel arrive in long, uniform rods. Each rod is inspected before moving to the first machine in line. Automated saws cut these rods into manageable lengths, creating what's called a barrel blank. From here, the transformation gets technical. The blank heads straight to the gun drilling station, a place where precision is everything. Gun drills aren't your average hardware store bits. They're specialized tools built for deep hole drilling, able to carve a perfectly centered bore right down the steel's core. The process is slow and controlled, with the drill removing ribbons of steel while keeping everything perfectly aligned. If the bore wanders even a fraction of a millimeter off-center, the finished barrel could send bullets veering off target. Factories often use two drills for extra accuracy, like you'll see at Daniel Defense, where everything is monitored by sensors and computers to keep tolerances tight. After drilling, the inside of the bore is still rough, with tiny tool marks that could disrupt the bullet's path. That's where honing comes in. This stage uses abrasive stones or pads that pass through the bore, gradually smoothing it out. The goal is a mirror-like surface, so smooth that light bounces right back at you. Quick quiz, why does uneven bore finish matter for bullet flight? Answer in 10 seconds. If you said accuracy, you're right. Any roughness or imperfection inside the barrel can cause friction, slow the bullet, or even make it wobble as it exits. That's why this step is so critical. The smoother the bore, the more consistent the bullet's path, and the better the rifle performs shot after shot. The focus on bore alignment and finish isn't just about making things look pretty. When a round is fired, the explosion behind the bullet creates intense pressure that must push evenly on all sides. If the bore is even slightly off-center or rough, that pressure becomes unbalanced, sending the bullet off course. This is where the math and engineering come together. The tiniest error in these early stages can mean the difference between a rifle that groups shots tightly at 100 yards and one that can't hit the same spot twice. Watching the process unfold, you see machines working with almost clinical precision. The gun drill carves out the core and the honing tool glides through, each pass bringing the barrel closer to its final form. These steps might look repetitive, but they lay the groundwork for everything that comes next. The steel is still just a blank tube at this point. No grooves, no chamber, just a flawless, straight, and gleaming bore. Once that flawless bore is in place, the next critical step, hammer forging, imprints the rifling grooves that stabilize the bullet. Without rifling, the barrel would simply be a smooth pipe unable to give the bullet the spin it needs for accuracy. The quality of the bore up to this point sets the stage for the rifling process, where the real identity of the AR-15 barrel takes shape. This careful setup ensures the barrel is ready for what comes next. The upcoming process is fast, forceful, and shapes the steel in ways that seem almost impossible. Each second counts, and what happens here will determine the barrel's durability and accuracy for years to come. Now the spotlight shifts to one of the most intense moments in the entire process, the hammer forging stage. In just 3.5 minutes, the barrel blank is reshaped from the inside out, and every bit of steel inside 
compresses, and aligns to within microns. This step is where the AR-15's rifling and chamber take form, and it's all thanks to a machine that looks simple but packs a punch. At the heart of this operation sits the mandrel, a thick steel rod with the reverse of the rifling pattern machined into its surface. The barrel blank, still just a smooth tube, is slid over the mandrel. Then the hammer forging machine gets to work. It's like coin stamping in reverse. Thousands of hammer strikes forge the steel around a mandrel, pressing the rifling's pattern into the interior wall of the barrel. The machine's hydraulic hammers pound the steel, forcing it to flow and conform exactly to the mandrel's shape. The outer surface flexes and shifts with each blow, but inside, the grooves and lands of the rifling are being created with surprising speed and accuracy. This process isn't just about brute force. The steel compresses and hardens with every strike, making the barrel denser and more resistant to the pressures and heat of repeated firing. The transformation is fast but unforgiving. Any error in alignment or pressure would show up immediately in the finished product. That's why the mandrel's precision is so critical. Every tiny detail on its surface gets imprinted into every barrel it touches. Factories follow strict schedules to inspect and replace mandrels regularly, ensuring no flaw is passed into a new barrel. One of the biggest advantages of hammer forging is the perfect concentricity it produces. Concentricity means the bore is perfectly centered within the barrel, which is essential for accuracy. When you fire a round, high pressure gases push the bullet down the bore. If the bore isn't centered, those gases don't distribute evenly, and the bullet may wobble or veer off course. Other methods, like button rifling, can't match this level of consistency. Hammer forging's unique process keeps the bore aligned shot after shot, barrel after barrel. That's why so many manufacturers swear by it when they want reliable, tight groupings. The mandrel also shapes the chamber at the rear of the barrel, where each cartridge sits before firing. A chamber that's even slightly off can cause feeding problems or unreliable ignition. Ever wonder what gives the AR-15 its trademark tight bullet groups? It's this millimeter-perfect concentricity achieved right here during hammer forging. There's another benefit too, durability. As the steel is hammered and compressed, it becomes tougher and more resilient. Hammer forged barrels can handle thousands of rounds without losing their edge, even under the extreme conditions that shooters put them through. The process gives each barrel a longer lifespan, making it a favorite for anyone who wants a rifle that can stand up to heavy use. Watching the machine in action, you see the raw steel tube transformed into a finished barrel with spiraling rifling grooves and a precisely shaped chamber. The process is quick, but every second counts. When the mandrel is pulled out, it reveals a barrel interior that's ready for the next stage of production. After hammer forging, the barrel isn't just a piece of steel anymore. It's a specialized part with the accuracy and strength the AR-15 is known for. This is where engineering and manufacturing come together, setting the standard for what comes next. From here, attention shifts to the assembly line, where precision becomes the main focus. This stage is all about bringing together the carefully crafted components into a single, reliable rifle. Skilled engineers move from station to station, fitting together the upper and lower receivers, the charging handle, handguards, and the bolt carrier group. Every piece has to line up perfectly, because even a small error can throw off the rifle's performance or reliability. CNC machines play a huge role in this phase. They cut each part to tight tolerances, so any upper and lower receiver fits seamlessly, minimizing variance and human error. The AR-15's modular design depends on this level of precision. Parts from different batches or even different factories need to fit together without issue. CNC technology makes that possible by keeping every cut, hole, and surface finish consistent. This not only boosts reliability, but also helps the factory keep up with demand without sacrificing quality. As the parts come together, the rifle starts to take shape. The upper receiver, milled from lightweight aluminum, houses the completed barrel, the gas system, and the bolt carrier group. 
The lower receiver holds the trigger, magazine release, and buffer system. When these two halves lock together, you get the AR-15's familiar silhouette. Each step is checked and double-checked because a single missed detail could cause headaches later on. At the QC station, team leader Jim Ross ensures none of these precise pieces slip through flawed. His team inspects every receiver and key component, measuring for dimensional accuracy and checking for machining defects. They look for more than just surface scratches. Every part must meet strict standards for fit and function. If something's off, even by a fraction of a millimeter, it doesn't move forward. This layer of inspection is what helps the AR-15 earn its reputation for reliability. After assembly, the rifle faces its first controlled indoor test, a 10-round firing sequence. Engineers check how tightly the shots group on the target and watch for any hiccups in cycling or extraction. If the rifle doesn't meet these standards, it's sent back for adjustments. Passing this test is just the beginning. Outside, rifles face mud, water, dust, and temperature extremes to prove battlefield readiness. These tests simulate real-world abuse, making sure the rifle can function in harsh conditions. If a rifle jams, misfires, or shows any sign of weakness, it's pulled from the line. Only the rifles that keep working through everything are cleared for the next stage. There's one final hurdle, proof testing. Here, the rifle is fired with proof rounds that generate higher pressure than standard ammo. This step pushes the receiver and barrel to their limits, checking for cracks or failures that might not show up in regular use. Inspectors look over the rifle again after this test. Only then does the rifle earn its Battle Ready badge. By the end of this process, you're looking at a rifle that's more than just a sum of its parts. Every detail, from the smooth cycling of the bolt carrier to the crisp break of the trigger, is the result of careful assembly and relentless quality control. Even the way the handguard is torqued or the charging handle slides into place is checked before the rifle leaves the factory. Once the rifle passes all these stages, it's packaged up and sent out, ready for whatever its new owner has in mind. But what really sets the AR-15 apart isn't just the way it's built, it's what happens after it leaves the factory. The story of this rifle continues as soon as it's in the hands of someone ready to make it their own. Just as foodies tweak recipes to suit their tastes, AR-15 owners swap out parts, optics, grips, barrels to personalize how their rifle performs. The AR-15's modular design is at the heart of this adaptability. It's not just a firearm, it's a platform built for change. This flexibility means you can start with a basic rifle and, with a few simple upgrades, tailor it for long-range target shooting, home defense, hunting, or competition. With the right mix of components, one rifle can fill several roles, and that's a big part of why the AR-15 remains so popular. Customization isn't only about looks or personal flair. Each change you make can have a direct impact on how the rifle feels and functions. For example, optics are usually the first stop for most AR-15 owners. Whether you're adding a red dot sight, a holographic sight, or a scope, these accessories all boost target acquisition and accuracy. Red dots and holographic sights shine in close quarters or fast-moving scenarios, while scopes help you reach out to distant targets with precision. The AR-15's rail system makes mounting these optics straightforward and keeps them stable under recoil. Handguards are another area where small changes make a big difference. Free-floating handguards, which don't touch the barrel, help improve accuracy by reducing stress and vibration. They also give you plenty of real estate for attaching extras like lights, lasers, or additional grips, whatever fits your shooting style. With so many shapes and materials available, you can pick a handguard that matches your preference for weight, grip, and accessory placement. Grips are a simple but effective upgrade. Vertical and angled grips both offer better control and stability, especially during rapid fire or when moving between targets. Swapping out the standard grip for something more ergonomic can reduce fatigue and help you stay accurate, even during longer shooting sessions. It's a small change that can have a big impact especially if you're using your rifle for different activities. 
Muzzle devices are another set of tools that let you fine-tune how your AR-15 handles. Flash hiders minimize the burst of light at the muzzle, which is useful for preserving your night vision. Muzzle brakes redirect gases to cut down on recoil, making it easier to get back on target for follow-up shots. Suppressors, which come with their own set of regulations, reduce both noise and recoil, making shooting more comfortable and less disruptive. Precision machined threads ensure a secure recoil-reducing fit for each of these devices, so you get reliable performance every time you shoot. Barrel length and caliber conversions open up even more options. A shorter barrel makes the rifle easier to maneuver in tight spaces. Think home defense or vehicle use. Longer barrels boost velocity and accuracy for long-range shooting or hunting. Thanks to the AR-15's design, swapping barrels or even entire uppers is a quick process. Changing calibers can be as simple as switching out the bolt, magazine and barrel, letting you use the rifle for everything from small game to larger targets. With all these choices, the AR-15 becomes a blank canvas for owners to create exactly what they need. Some shooters build a dedicated long-range setup with a heavy barrel and high magnification scope, while others might opt for a lightweight, compact build for close quarters courses. The mix and match nature of parts means you're never locked into one setup. Which accessory would you mount first? Let us know below. Manufacturers keep pushing the envelope, introducing lighter materials, smarter optics, and more ergonomic designs every year. The AR-15 platform keeps evolving, meeting the demands of new shooters and seasoned enthusiasts alike. This steady stream of innovation ensures the rifle stays relevant, adapting to new shooting styles and technologies as they emerge. The AR-15's real strength is its ability to change and grow with its owner. Each upgrade, each adjustment, reflects the needs of the person behind the trigger. This adaptability is what keeps the platform at the center of the shooting world and ensures its place in the future of firearms. Remember that quiz on rifling? Now you know it's hammer forging against a mandrel. What starts as a plain steel rod goes through a series of precise, demanding steps, gun drilling, honing, hammer forging, and careful assembly, before it becomes a finished AR-15 barrel. Each stage relies on advanced machinery and exact measurements to achieve the reliability and performance shooters expect. So next time you see an AR-15, think about the thousands of hammer strikes and microscopic measurements behind that barrel. If you enjoyed this inside look, hit like and subscribe for more deep dives into how things are made. What other factory secrets, maybe your favorite snack, should we unpack next? Drop your ideas in the comments below. In the